Hey BeastStars fam, this is Jamil with the customer success team and we just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how to use our new promote system. So, if you're at the dashboard, the first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down so you get to this new ad that says BeatStars Promote is here. You can go ahead and click this to get to the BeatStars Studio. You can also type in studio.beatstars.com in your address bar to get here the same way. So, this is the new Promote dashboard, which features all your campaigns. The first thing you're going to want to do to set up a promotion for the first time is go over to the top right section of the page and hit Promote. All right, so when we get to this page, we can choose what we want to promote. We can promote a track, an album, or a profile. I'm just going to go ahead and select track. And we can choose from any of our tracks that we have uploaded to our account. I'll select this one. And let's hit next step. Now we can set the duration and budget of our ad. Over here you can type in the number of days you want your campaign to run or you can use this bar to move around and increase or decrease the days. You can go from one day all the way to 30. I'm going to go ahead and hit seven days. Let's run this ad for a week. Another option here is you can select this button to run the ad continuously. What this will do is it'll keep the campaign running until you manually stop it. Now we can select what day we want the promotion to start. You could start it starting from tomorrow, from whatever day you're setting up the ad, you can start it from tomorrow. I'll go ahead and select this to start on the 30th. And now we could select our budget. So what the budget will do is it'll set a cap for the amount you can be charged. So whatever you set your budget, it's the maximum amount that you could be charged for this particular ad per day. I'll keep it at 10. And we have this notice right here telling you that your campaign will start on January 30th, 2020 UTC. Your maximum total spend is $70 over seven days. So that's pretty neat. It calculates it for you to let you know that over the seven days of your ad, you could be charged a maximum of $10 per day, which will mean your maximum amount that you could be charged for this ad over the course of the week is $70. All right, and once we agree to this, we can go over to our final step. Okay, now we can review our campaign before we start running it. So it reminds you here the track you're promoting. You can change this if you want. I'll keep it at our same one and you have to add a payment source. So to do that, you can hit manage payment sources here and it'll allow you to enter either a PayPal account or a credit card. So this is going to be the account that is charged at the conclusion of your ad. So you wanna make sure that this payment source is up to date and valid to make sure that there's no problem running your ads. Now it'll tell you the destination, which is the marketplace. It'll remind you here when your ad starts, January 30th, 2020 UTC, and it'll finish Thursday, February 6th, 2020 UTC. I'll go in more detail about UTC and what that means for your ads a little bit later. It tells you your budget per day and your budget in total. Now, once we decide that this is all good and fair, we can hit create campaign. Okay, now we can see that our campaign we just created is scheduled and ready to go for the start date. Now that we've created our first campaign, I want to show you guys a couple of different things that you can do with your campaign before it starts. So we can see all of the information here about our campaign. We can see the name of the track. We can see what status it's in. We can see how many impressions it gains once the campaign starts, that number will update. We can see the start and finish date. We can see our daily budget and how much of the daily budget we spent once this campaign is active. All this information will start updating. Now, there's this button right here with three dots. And if you click on that, you could see more campaign details. You can choose to finalize the campaign this is the button you want to hit if you want the campaign to stop 
before the actual finish date that's scheduled. You can also edit the daily budget while it's in schedule. So if you decide that you want to increase or decrease your budget before the campaign starts, you can opt to do that. I'll even increase it now to $30 per day just to show you. And it'll update the number just like it did when we were creating the campaign. So now our maximum total that we could spend is $210 over these seven days because we upped it to $30 per day. And you could change this at any time before the campaign starts. And it updates right away. So now our daily budget is set to 30. I'll also show you guys, if you hit campaign details, it'll break down all the stats from your campaign. Obviously all these things are set to zero right now because our campaign hasn't started yet. But once it starts, you could see in almost real time how many impressions you're getting on your campaign, how many plays you're getting, how many likes you're getting, how many reposts, and how many free downloads if you've made those available for your track. Okay, so now that we've broken down all the information you could see about each individual campaign, let's talk a little bit more about the different statuses a campaign can be in. So, we've already talked about scheduled. This is the status that a campaign can be in when you've created it and it hasn't reached its start date yet. So anything you have scheduled, all the campaigns you've created that haven't started yet, they're going to be under the schedule tab. We can sort of see that here. Active, pretty self-explanatory. Any campaign that is currently running, you can see in your active tab. Campaigns will appear in the pending tab. If there's an overdue payment that needs to be resolved before an ad can run. So if you ever see any of your ads tagged as pending, that means you need to resolve a payment issue within your account before they can go back to being scheduled or active. So next, a campaign will appear in the processing tab if an ad is finalized and hasn't been paid yet. So this can only happen if you can't be charged on the last day of a promotion that possibly ran for multiple days. The next tab is finished. Campaigns will appear here once they're stopped or have completely ran their course and they've been finalized, meaning that you've been charged for them and they're completely finished and the ad is no longer appearing on the marketplace. The last tab is stopped, which is the transitional period between active and finalized. So campaigns that are in stopped will eventually be moved to finalized after a short period of time. So now that we've talked about all the different tabs, I want to backtrack a little bit and talk about something we referenced earlier, which was the UTC time zone. Ads start and end at midnight UTC. They're not based off of your local time zone. So to find out what time your ads begin and end, you'll have to convert midnight UTC to find out what time that is for you. So an ad that starts January 30th, 2020 will begin January 30th at midnight UTC. For example, I know that my time zone here in Austin is central and that is UTC minus six. So for me, an ad that begins January 30th will actually begin January 29th at 6 p.m. my time. Lastly, I wanna mention this section right here, which says promo credits available. The way our current system runs is that you're just charged directly for the promotions from your payment method once an ad is complete so you no longer have to buy credits. This section refers to our old system where it was necessary to purchase credits to run an ad. So, the way it would work if you still have credits left on your account is that we would charge you for your credits before charging your payment method. So, for example, if you ran an ad that ended up totaling $50 and you had $50 in promo credits available, you would only be charged for those promo credits and they would reach zero and you wouldn't be charged anything extra on your credit cards. However, if you ran ads that totaled $60 and you only had $50 in promo credits, then those $50 in promo credits would be used 
your new balance would be at zero and you would be charged the remaining $10 to the payment method that you attached when setting up the promo. All right. We hope you guys enjoy this new promote system. And as always, if you have any questions, you can email us at support at beatstars.com. Thank you.